coming to Christ is not for you to come and experience deformity or denial of God's promises. Coming to Christ makes you to be a wonder to your generation. And the expectations of God to everyone that comes to him through our Lord Jesus Christ, it is for us to live in divine nature. When you are born again, it makes you to live in divine nature. And as a child of God, I want to tell you today that you are not permitted to operate in the realm of the physical alone, but you are to go into the realm of the spirit, operate from the realm of the spirit, and bring what is in the realm of the spirit into the realm of the physical. That is why he says to us that we should call those things that are not as if they were. Where are those things that are not? They are not in the realm of physical. They are in the realm of supernatural. So you have to call them from the realm of supernatural into the realm of physical. And for you to be able to do this, you must understand what supernatural simply means. There are two things you need to understand. The first thing is what is supernatural. The second thing you need to understand before you can engage in the realm of supernatural, it is what are the laws supernaturally required for me to be able to operate in the realm of supernatural. And I want to say to you that the supernatural is just is, is a sign or the act that cannot be explained. Something that will happen that you cannot explain it by, uh, by natural law. By natural law is unexplainable. That is supernatural. Supernatural cannot be denied. Even though people are saying all manners of things about this, but it cannot be denied. There are some things that God will do that will become a wonder in the eyes of the unbeliever. And these things will be a mystery that unbelievers will not be able to explain. 